When the sun goes down, young people without electricity in poor communities around the globe study by kerosene and candlelight. To give students a few more hours of light for learning, Doug McNeil described in a past interview how he and fellow engineer Jess Salem invented a renewable lighting source. It uses a battery, solar panel, charged control circuit, and an LED strip. Doug and Jess founded Lighting for Literacy in 2012. Since then, the group's given away a thousand lighting systems for free, benefiting 20,000 young people in dozens of places worldwide, most recently in Mexico, the Philippines, and Ethiopia. And Doug's commitment has not dimmed, even though his co-founder Jess died of cancer, and Doug himself now battles ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, that significantly weakened his muscles. He requires 24-hour care and communicates with an optical scanner. It reads his eye movement to slowly type out words for the computer to speak. The greatest joy I receive from Lighting for Literacy is empowering youth to change the world with simple technology. With the support of Los Gatos Morning Rotary and United Methodist Church, thousands of Bay Area students learn science and technology as they volunteer to assemble the lights for shipment. I would like to be able to solve whatever problem comes my way. Other students, like Carolyn Wagner, go on the group's trips. They install the lights and give away books while building houses for the underserved in Mexico. You have this knowledge that you were able to like change someone's life. With the support of his wife and family, Doug models perseverance in the face of adversity. Hello, my name is Jessica Eastland, Doug McNeil's daughter, and I'm honored to be sharing his acceptance speech with you this evening. Thank you so much for this award. I am deeply honored to be recognized in this way, and there are so many equally deserving of this tribute. My fellow nominees, you have each contributed by giving back and raising human potential around the world. You all inspire me. You too, watching from home, have the ability to leave a positive mark on this world. When your opportunity arises, don't hesitate to take it. Our opportunity started as what was supposed to be a one-time community Earth Day project. Soon after, we realized that this was so much bigger than us. LFL came to be as it is today thanks to science, sustainability, and service above self. What started in a small farming community in Colonet, Mexico, has become a legacy program that has since spread to 40 international communities. The project has been adopted by schools and youth groups across the United States. Don't doubt that you can make a difference. Trust the process and let love and compassion guide your way. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your evening.